You've seen the headlines. But what actually happens if the U.S. Supreme Court overturns Roe with a decision in Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization? First, it's important to remember what the decision in Roe did. When decided nearly 50 years ago in 1973, Roe effectively legalized abortion for any reason throughout all nine months of pregnancy. And it prevented states from protecting unborn life until viability, around 22 weeks gestational age. It's because of Roe that today the U.S. is an extreme outlier in abortion law and policy compared to the rest of the world. For example, did you know that we're only one of six countries that allow abortion on demand, gruesome late-term abortions up to the moment of birth? On the other hand, 75% of countries worldwide limit abortion past 12 weeks gestation. The truth is, as prenatal medicine and technology has advanced to recognize the undeniable humanity found in the womb, Many countries around the world have established laws protecting precious life. Many countries, that is, except ours, thanks to Roe. Under the unconstitutional precedent set by Roe v. Wade and Planned Parenthood v. Casey, common sense laws to protect unborn life have been blocked for decades by federal courts. But even if Roe is overturned, abortion will not be outlawed. Instead, the states will finally have the opportunity and freedom to protect life. The question of abortion will return to the people, and we will have a chance to bring our laws into closer alignment with the scientific facts and human rights long recognized by the rest of the world. If Roe is overturned, it will be time for the pro-life community to advocate for pro-life policies that help women and babies to flourish. We must continue and expand the work of thousands of pregnancy resource centers to protect life. Overturning Roe is a crucial first step but it's only the beginning of the vital work to save countless lives and move closer to a culture that cherishes every single person at every single stage of life.